okay so today we will be discussing electron microscope now listen electron microscopes actually was discovered by nolan raska you know nolan raska okay now listen we have actually discussed that there are basically three types of microscopy right there are basically three types of microscopy and they are number one light microscopy number two electron microscopy okay and number three is scanning probe microscopy scanning probe microscopy now listen right now today we will be discussing electron microscopes okay that is electron microscopy now there are basically three main types of electron microscopes okay there are basically three main types of electron microscopes which are present number one transmission electron microscope or TIM number two scanning electron microscope or same number three is actually a combination of tame and same called stem called stem that is scanning transmission electron microscopes okay so today we will only be discussing about transmission electron microscope today we will discuss about transmission electron microscope okay so we will actually divide our you know lecture into three basic components okay we will divide our lecture into three basic components and they are number one you know in microscopy very important part is actually what fixating your you know live sections right we'll talk about fixation in electron microscopy we'll at first talk about fixation in electron microscopy second we will talk about staining in electron microscopy third we'll talk about TAME components, TAME components and functions, okay, now, so we'll start with electron microscopy fixation, electron microscopy staining and then TAME and its components and how these components function so that we can get a file image, okay, now, you should understand one thing that when I'm talking about fixation in electron microscopy, it is completely different with respect to fixation in light microscopy. I am repeating myself, listen. Whenever we are talking about electron microscopy fixation, it is completely different with respect to your light microscopy fixation. Because in light microscopy fixation, what is the basic difference between light microscopy fixation, light microscopy fixation and and electron microscopy fixation you should understand this right now the basic difference between light microscopy fixation and electron microscopy fixation is this that in light microscopy fixation water is used and water is permeable water is permitted that means we can use water and if some amount of water stays in the sample, there is no, you know, harm in it. But in electron microscopy fixation, water should completely be removed. Water should completely be removed. That's a very basic difference. Why? Now the question arises why? 
why we should completely remove the water the basic question that we should we should understand now that is why we should completely remove water when we are applying the methods of electron microscopy fixation right the basic reason behind this is actually in light microscope what is illuminating the object suppose this is the object what is illuminating illuminating the object light light photons are illuminating the object now listen you should understand one thing that light photons are never distracted by water molecules light photons are never distracted by water molecules but whenever we are talking about whenever we are talking about electron microscopy fixation electron microscope you should understand electron mic microscopes use electrons instead of light and electrons suppose this is a sample and electrons are will be deflected if this sample has got water that means we will not get the proper image that's why it is very much essential in electron microscopy fixation that we should not use water that's a very basic thing you need to understand first with respect to electron microscopy fixation now <laughs> you should uh, uh, again remember the classes with respect to light microscopy that is in light microscopy the fixative the common fixative used are the common fixative used light micro in light microscopy the common fixative which we use the common fixative what which we use common fixative which we use you have appeared in several exams and this is a very common question with respect to your practicals yes one of the common you know fixative which we use you have never heard of something called formaldehyde you have never heard something called formaldehyde which is a fixative right you have never heard something called formaldehyde oh my god listen you have never heard something called formaldehyde hcho right 20% 20% solution of 20% solution of hcho is known as what formalin oh my god pathetic situation there 20% <laughs> solution of hcho is formalin formalins are you know used for keeping our biological materials right in zo in any zoology lab if you visit any zoology lab or any zoology department you will get you know some bottles like this and inside this bottle some snakes or something is kept in liquid right this liquid is actually what formalin this liquid is actually a fixative that means it has fixed the tissues which are present inside it that means the dead bodies of snake that means the dead bodies of bats or birds which are kept inside this actually solution these bodies this cell architecture is actually been fixed by formaldehyde that's a very basic reason we use you know fix uh, fixatives now right now we'll be talking about the electron microscopy fixation that means the fixatives which we use in electron microscopy that is the basic unit to understand today now we don't use we don't use formaldehyde we don't directly use formaldehyde when we are talking about electron microscopy fixation why because formaldehyde is a strong agent and it should be mixed with water and in this case no water should be used there's a very basic reason we don't use only formaldehyde okay now listen now when we are talking about this particular topic that is fixation in electron microscopy we will understand the development of fixatives in electron microscopy field okay what do you mean by this listen 
from the first we actually now use you know uh, a fluid which is actually a mixture of paraformaldehyde mixture of glutaraldehyde but you should always know that how you know people came to know that paraformaldehyde glutaraldehyde they are good fixative for electron microscopy you should understand this listen over the point of time you know people have discovered these things that electron microscopes actually use beam of electrons so no we can't use any water but we will have to also fix the proteins and the cell membrane inside it now listen whenever we are talking about the fixation process now you should understand what is the biological importance of this fixation or what is the biological basis of this fixation why we use this fixation process listen suppose this is a cell okay suppose this is a cell now this is dna now listen there are proteins right now listen suppose you want to kill this cell suppose you want to kill this cell okay what you can do now listen the first question which should come into your mind, mind is why we will we will have to kill this cell because we want to study its architecture because we want to study this cell suppose now listen if you want to study this cell now you will have to kill this cell now you don't have to take a knife and be a chop you know you don't have to use it like a chopper now listen to kill a biological specimen a process is employed to kill a biological specimen a process is employed that is known as fixation fixation means we are killing a particular biological specimen keeping intact listen with all your attention keeping intact all the proteins in its native structure that's the very basic aim of fixation okay that means what is the basic aim of fixation listen what is the very basic aim of fixation the very basic aim of fixation is that we will we will kill the cell but without disturbing the native protein structure okay that's a very basic aim of fixation why we use fixation okay okay now listen